Do you remember the leader of the rock band Rolling Stones? Fans will never forget Mick Jagger because of his unforgettable characteristics, his rooster strut, feathery hair, and a wild dating history. You may not know this. Rolling Stones was not what made Mick famous in the first place, but his love life was the stepping stone for that remarkable rise, from her famous relationship with singer Marianne Faithful to her two-decade romance with Jerry Hall and many more beauties. Join us to explore Mick's complicated situation right now. Marianne Faithful, Mick Jagger, the iconic frontman of the Rolling Stones, has had a tumultuous and well-documented romantic history, characterized by high-profile relationships and affairs. His relationship with Marianne Faithful, a significant figure in the 1960s music scene, is a notable example. This relationship began under controversial circumstances and became a defining chapter in Jagger's personal life. In the early 1960s, Mick Jagger was in a relationship with Chrissy Shrimpton, a model who later ventured into acting. Their relationship started around 1963 and continued for several years. During this time, Jagger's career with the Rolling Stones was taking off, leading to increasing fame and public scrutiny. Marianne Faithful, who would later become intimately involved with Jagger, emerged on the music scene in the mid-1960s. In 1965, she recorded the hit single as Tears Go By, a song written by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards, another member of the Rolling Stones. This collaboration marked the beginning of Marianne's rise to fame and her introduction into Jagger's inner circle. The chemistry between Mick Jagger and Marianne Faithful was evident from the early stages of their acquaintance. Despite Jagger's ongoing relationship with Chrissy Shrimpton, he and Marianne Faithful began an affair. This affair, starting around the end of 1966, was not kept secret for long. It soon became public knowledge, adding to the already intense media attention surrounding Jagger and the Rolling Stones. By 1967, Mick Jagger had ended his relationship with Chrissy Shrimpton and started dating Marianne Faithful openly. Their relationship was marked by its intensity and the shared experience of being in the public eye. The coupling of two such prominent figures in the music world captured the attention of fans and the media alike, further cementing Jagger's reputation for high-profile and often controversial romances. One of the most significant incidents occurred in 1967, involving a police raid that would become a defining moment in their relationship and a sensational story in the press. The incident took place at Keith Richards' house in Sussex. The New York Times reported that the police raided a party there, leading to a scandalous and highly publicized situation. Marianne Faithful, who had just taken a bath at the time of the raid, found herself without clean clothes. In a bid to maintain her modesty, she wrapped herself in a rug. This image of Faithful in a rug became iconic and was widely reported in the media, adding to the scandal's notoriety. During the raid, both Mick Jagger and Keith Richards were arrested, causing a significant stir in the media. However, it was Marianne Faithful who faced the harshest scrutiny and public shaming. She later reflected on this incident, noting in her 2007 memoir, Memories, Dreams, and Reflection, as reported by The Guardian, how she was portrayed negatively in the press. She was slandered as the wanton woman in the fur rug while Jagger was seen as the noble rock star on trial. This disparity in public perception highlighted the gender biases prevalent in media coverage at the time. The relationship between Jagger and Faithful continued until 1970, when it ultimately came to an end. Marianne Faithful recounted in her memoir how Mick Jagger was initially supportive of her acting career, but she sensed his reluctance for her to pursue it. This led her to stop working and, as she describes, fall heavily into drug use. In 1969, her drug use culminated in a severe incident where she overdosed on sleeping pills in Australia, resulting in her being unconscious for six days. This event marked a turning point in their relationship, signaling the beginning of the end for the couple. Adding to the complexity of their relationship, Mick Jagger reportedly had a brief affair with Anita Pallenberg, a German model and his co-star in the film Performance. 
In what appeared to be a retaliatory move, Marianne Faithful reportedly slept with Keith Richards. This web of relationships and affairs among members of the Rolling Stones and their close associates was emblematic of the intertwined personal and professional lives within the rock and roll circle of that era. Marsha Hunt. In 1969, Mick Jagger's personal life took another significant turn when he met Marsha Hunt, an American model and singer who would become an important figure in his life. This encounter occurred during a period of intense creativity and public attention for Jagger and the Rolling Stones. Marsha Hunt was first approached to participate in a promotional shoot for the Rolling Stones' single Honky Tonk Woman, according to a report by The Independent, cited by Nikki Swift. Hunt declined the offer. Her refusal was grounded in a sense of responsibility and the desire to maintain her status as a role model for black women. At the time, it was rare for black women to be prominently featured in mainstream media, and Hunt was conscious of the impact her decisions could have on public perception and representation. Mick Jagger, undeterred by her refusal to participate in the promotional shoot, made a bold move. He showed up at Marsha Hunt's door at midnight, standing framed by the doorway and grinning with a dark coat. This dramatic gesture marked the beginning of their romance, which started while Jagger was still involved with Marianne Faithful. The relationship between Mick Jagger and Marsha Hunt quickly evolved, and it had significant consequences. In 1970, Hunt gave birth to Karis Hunt Jagger, Mick Jagger's first child. The arrival of Karis marked a new phase in Jagger's life as he navigated the responsibilities of fatherhood amidst his career and public image. However, the relationship between Jagger and Hunt was not without its challenges. The 1970s saw Hunt engaged in a prolonged legal battle with Jagger over financial support for their daughter, Bianca Morena de Masia. In 1970, a significant event occurred in Mick Jagger's personal life, marking the beginning of another high-profile relationship. This time it was with Bianca Perez Mora Macias, a Nicaraguan student of political science. Their first meeting took place at a party following a Rolling Stones concert, a setting that was emblematic of the rock and roll lifestyle that Jagger was deeply immersed in. The connection between Mick Jagger and Bianca Perez Mora Macias was instant and intense, described often as love at first sight. Their whirlwind romance rapidly progressed. Within just a few months of meeting, the couple was already discussing marriage. This quick move from meeting to marriage talks was characteristic of Jagger's spontaneous and passionate approach to relationships. In 1971, their relationship culminated in a wedding, transforming Bianca Perez Mora Macias into Bianca Jagger. The ceremony took place on May 12, 1971, at the City Hall in Saint-Tropez, France. This wedding was a high-profile event, attracting considerable media attention and adding to the public fascination with Mick Jagger's personal life. However, the marriage was not without its problems, and signs of strain appeared early on. An anecdote from their wedding day illustrates these challenges. During the wedding reception at the Café des Arts, Mick Jagger reportedly spent time dancing with friends rather than with his new bride, Bianca Jagger, in contrast, returned to their honeymoon suite alone. This incident was perhaps a foreshadowing of the troubles that would plague their marriage. Bianca's reflection on their marriage, as reported in a 1986 interview with the New York Daily News and cited by Entertainment Weekly, is telling. My marriage was over on the wedding day. This stark statement underscores the immediate challenges the couple faced, hinting at deep-seated issues that overshadowed their relationship. Despite the early troubles in their marriage, the couple's relationship continued for several years. In October 1971, just months after their wedding, Bianca Jagger gave birth to their daughter, Jade Sheena Jezebel Jagger. The arrival of Jade brought a new dimension to their relationship, introducing the responsibilities and joys of parenthood. However, the presence of a child did not resolve the underlying issues in their marriage. The Jaggers' marriage, which lasted until 1979, was often in the public eye, with fans and the media closely following the developments in their relationship. 
the eventual end of their marriage came when Bianca filed for divorce. The reasons cited for the split, as reported by Ultimate Classic Rock, UCR, was Mick Jagger's infidelity. This accusation was not isolated in Jagger's history. His romantic relationships were frequently marked by allegations of unfaithfulness. Jerry Hall Mick Jagger's personal life has always been a subject of public fascination, particularly his romantic relationships. One of the most significant relationships in his life was with Jerry Hall, an American model and actress. This relationship began under controversial circumstances, adding to the already complex narrative of Jagger's love life. In 1977, while still legally married to Bianca Jagger, Mick Jagger started dating Jerry Hall. At that time, Hall was engaged to Brian Ferry, the lead vocalist of the British rock band Roxy Music. The beginnings of Jagger and Hall's relationship were marked by this crossover of existing commitments, highlighting the often complicated and intertwined personal lives of celebrities. The first encounter between Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall took place in 1976. Jagger, seemingly captivated by Hall, took the initiative to invite her and Brian Ferry over for dinner. This encounter set the stage for the developing relationship between Jagger and Hall. Jerry Hall herself reflected on this period in her 2010 coffee table book, Memoir. Jerry Hall, My Life in Pictures, as reported by Yahoo. She acknowledged the awkwardness of the situation, particularly for Brian Ferry, noting how Jagger was evidently smitten with her and how challenging this must have been for Ferry. Despite the contentious start, the relationship between Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall evolved into one of the longest and most significant partnerships in Jagger's life. The two fell in love and maintained a relationship that spanned several decades, enduring through the highs and lows of life in the public eye. The relationship between Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall evolved into a long-term partnership spanning over two decades. During this time, they welcomed four children into their family, contributing to a complex but enduring family dynamic. Their first child, Elizabeth Scarlett, was born in 1984, marking the beginning of Jagger and Hall's journey into parenthood together. This was followed it by the birth of Jameis Leroy in 1985, Georgia May in 1992, and Gabrielle Luke in 1997. Each child's arrival added a new layer to the couple's relationship, shifting their dynamic from not just romantic partners but also co-parents, navigating the challenges and joys of raising a family. However, the relationship was not without its difficulties. In 1999, after 22 years together and four children, the couple's relationship came to an end. The cause, as Jerry Hall revealed in a 2010 interview with The Guardian, was Mick Jagger's infidelity. She candidly discussed her perspective on the relationship, indicating a sense of resolution after having their fourth child and acknowledging Jagger's role as a father to their children. Despite the tumultuous nature of their romantic relationship, Jerry Hall spoke positively about Mick Jagger's qualities as a father. She praised his involvement in their children's lives, highlighting his dedication to helping with homework, his love for history, and his enjoyment of outdoor activities with the family, such as bike rides, walks with the dogs, and playing cricket. This acknowledgement paints a picture of Jagger not just as a rock star with a complicated personal life, but also as a committed and caring father. Adding another layer to their relationship's complexity, Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall participated in what was believed to be a Hindu wedding ceremony in 1990. This event was viewed as a significant commitment by the couple. However, it was later deemed invalid by a British court due to missing legal paperwork. This development added a legal dimension to the narrative of their relationship underlining the unconventional and often unconventional nature of Jagger's personal life. Luciana Jimenez The long-standing relationship between Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall, which had endured through various challenges, including Jagger's infidelities, ultimately reached a breaking point due to a particularly significant event. This turning point was the revelation that Mick Jagger had fathered a child with another woman during his time with Hall. 
The other woman in question was Luciana Gimenez, a Brazilian model. In May 1999, Gimenez gave birth to a son, Lucas Maurice. The news of the birth and subsequent DNA tests confirming Mick Jagger's paternity had a profound impact on his relationship with Jerry Hall. For Hall, this revelation was more than just another instance of infidelity. It represented a profound betrayal that she could not overlook. The birth of Jagger's child with another woman while still in a relationship with Hall was the final straw that led to the end of their 22-year relationship. Luciana Jimenez's life took its own interesting turns following her affair with Mick Jagger and the birth of their son. She went on to marry Marcelo de Carvalho, a prominent figure in the Brazilian media industry. Carvalho is the owner of Rated TV, a significant Brazilian television network. Jimenez carved out a successful career in television, hosting not just one, but two shows on Rated TV. This career path marked her transition from modeling to a notable personality in the Brazilian media landscape. Carla Bruni Before her marriage to Nicolas Sarkozy in February 2008, which would see her become the First Lady of France, Carla Bruni, an Italian-French singer-songwriter and former model, had a notable involvement in the complex romantic web of the rock and roll world. Her connection with Mick Jagger, the legendary frontman of the Rolling Stones, is a particularly intriguing chapter in this narrative. Carla Bruni's introduction to Mick Jagger came through Eric Clapton in 1990. Clapton, a renowned musician in his own right, had a romantic involvement with Bruni before introducing her to Jagger. However, this introduction would lead to an unexpected turn of events, as detailed in Christopher Anderson's biography of Jagger, Mick, the wildlife and mad genius of Jagger, and reported by the New York Daily News. Clapton expressed his regret over this decision, revealing that he became obsessed with the relationship between Bruni and Jagger, which impacted him deeply for the remainder of that year. Carla Bruni herself spoke about her fling with Mick Jagger in Anderson's biography. She described it as a casual relationship, noting that she was in her 20s at the time and not seeking anything serious. Bruni also addressed the speculation about her role in Mick Jagger's split with Jerry Hall, downplaying her involvement. She pointed out that there were many other women in Jagger's life at that time, implying that her relationship with him was just one of many and not the primary cause of his separation from Hall. The affair between Carla Bruni and Mick Jagger did, however, have repercussions on Jagger's relationship with Jerry Hall. The two had a significant clash over Jagger's involvement with Bruni, leading to a temporary separation. This period of estrangement was marked by tension and conflict, reflecting the strain that Jagger's infidelities placed on his relationship with Hall. However, the couple eventually reconciled after Mick Jagger implored Jerry Hall to take him back. Loren Scott In 2001, a significant chapter in Mick Jagger's personal life began when he met Loren Scott, an American fashion designer. At this time, Jagger, already a father to seven children, was navigating life as a single parent. The meeting between Jagger and Scott marked the start of a relationship that would last over a decade, becoming one of the most stable and significant relationships in Jagger's later life. Loren Scott was a prominent figure in the fashion industry, known for her elegant designs and the distinct style that made her a favorite among celebrities. When Jagger and Scott met, they formed a connection that quickly evolved into a deep and committed relationship. This relationship was a departure from the pattern of Jagger's earlier romantic entanglements, which were often marked by high-profile affairs and tumultuous dynamics. For 13 years, Mick Jagger and Loren Scott shared a life that, by many accounts, was filled with mutual respect and affection. Their relationship was not only a romantic partnership, but also a collaboration in style and public image, with Scott having a significant influence on Jagger's fashion choices. 
This period in Jagger's life was marked by a sense of stability and maturity in his personal relationships. However, this enduring relationship came to a tragic end in March 2014. Loren Scott took her own life, leaving Jagger and many others in shock and grief. At the time of Scott's death, Jagger was in Australia on tour with the Rolling Stones. The news of her passing had a profound impact on him, both personally and professionally. The Rolling Stones immediately postponed their tour in Australia and New Zealand, reflecting the depth of Jagger's loss and the respect he had for Scott. His response to her death, as conveyed in a statement reported by Vanity Fair, reveals the depth of his feelings and the impact of their relationship on his life. In his statement, Jagger expressed his struggle to comprehend the loss of someone he described as both his lover and best friend. This dual characterization of Scott as both a romantic partner and a close confidant underscores the multifaceted nature of their relationship. Jagger emphasized the joy and fulfillment they found in their years together, highlighting a shared life that was not just about romantic love, but also about building a life and partnership together. Jagger also spoke about Loren Scott's remarkable presence and her admired talents. As a successful fashion designer, Scott was known for her unique sense of style and her ability to leave a mark on the fashion industry. Jagger's acknowledgement of her talent and presence indicates a deep respect for her as both a professional and a partner. Recognizing the significant role she played in his life and in the lives of those who knew her work, the outpouring of tributes and personal messages of support following Scott's death was another point that Jagger touched upon. He expressed gratitude for the kindness shown by others during such a difficult time, indicating the widespread impact of Scott's life and the shared sense of loss felt by many. This collective mourning and the support he received were, perhaps, a small comfort in the face of such a personal tragedy. Melanie Hamrick In the aftermath of Loren Scott's tragic death, Mick Jagger eventually found love again with Melanie Hamrick, a dancer with the American Ballet Theater. Their relationship, which began shortly after Scott's passing, was notable not only for its timing, but also for the significant age difference between the two, with Hamrick being 43 years younger than Jagger. Melanie Hamrick's own life was in a period of transition when she met Mick Jagger. She was coming out of a relationship and happened to be in Japan at the same time as Jagger and the Rolling Stones. It was during this trip that their paths crossed, as Hamrick attended one of the Stones' concerts and, along with several other ballerinas, was invited backstage. This encounter, however, did not immediately lead to a romantic connection. The initial meeting between Jagger and Hamrick did not spark an instant relationship, but they reconnected later on and gradually developed a bond that blossomed into love. This gradual evolution of their relationship from a chance meeting to a deeper connection reflects a different pace and nature compared to some of Jagger's previous relationships. In December 2016, Melanie Hamrick gave birth to Devraux's Octavian Basil Jagger, Mick Jagger's eighth child. The birth of Devraux added a new dimension to Jagger's life, bringing the joys and responsibilities of fatherhood once again into his experience. As of October 2023, Mick Jagger and Melanie Hamrick's relationship continues to thrive. Their public appearances, such as attending the American Ballet Fall Gala together, as reported by People, indicate a strong and ongoing partnership. The couple's presence on the red carpet, smiling and united, suggests a stable and happy relationship. Nor Alfala the romantic life of Mick Jagger, characterized by a series of high-profile relationships, added another chapter with rumors of his brief involvement with Noor Al-Fala. This rumored relationship reportedly took place from 2017 to 2018, a period during which Jagger was already in a relationship with Melanie Hamrick, who was pregnant at the time. Noor Al-Fala, a significantly younger woman than Mick Jagger, is a figure who has been linked with several older celebrities. Her connection with Jagger was the subject of media speculation and public interest, particularly given the timing of their rumored relationship. 
The notion that Jagger was involved with Alpha Law while his partner, Hamrick, was expecting their child added a layer of controversy to the rumors, fitting the pattern of Jagger's often complex and scrutinized personal life. In 2023, Noor Alphala's personal life made headlines once again, this time due to her relationship with another renowned actor, Al Pacino. The news of her welcoming a son with Pacino in June 2023 brought her back into the public eye. Alphala's associations with high-profile figures like Mick Jagger and Al Pacino have made her a subject of interest in the realm of celebrity relationships. What do you think about Mick Jagger's complicated dating history? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.